Hey there, internet friend, it's Jason from Drink the Paint Water, and I have a very important question for you. Are you ready for some summer fun? I know I am, and so is my little buddy, Dr. Acula. Look at him, he's so cute, all dolled out and dashing in his little swim attire. Don't get that sun on you, that oh, sizzle! Anyway, if you want to see how I drew this, from a digital sketch all the way up to the final watercolors and in ink, Stick around, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so for the sketch, I am using a program called Procreate on my iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil to draw with. Procreate is a really cool drawing program that is very inexpensive. At the time that I'm making this, I think it's about $10 to own it, not even for a subscription model. And it's a great digital drawing and painting tool. I really love it. I use it for everything in my freelance and my day job. So you can zoom in, resize things, erase things without getting little rubby nubbies everywhere. It's it's fantastic. After I got that blue line done, I came in with a digital inker and just kind of got some preliminary ink lines down that I will then um, print out on watercolor paper. But I just wanted to kind of get a, you know, just a, a straight base down that I could uh, embellish later on. All right, that's it for the little digital montage. Now, I printed it out onto watercolor paper, taped it down to a board, and we hit it with some traditional media. So let's see how that goes. All right, so we've got that printed out and taped down to a board. The reason I tape it down is to keep the paper from folding up, from bubbling up, warping underneath the uh, watercolor there. It's a pretty standard, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a pretty standard practice when you're working with ink washes or gouache or watercolor. And I got that purple there, that's some just some watercolor coming in. And then the dark gray is Dr. P.H. Martin's India ink. You know I love that. And watered down to make a nice ink wash. And it's cool how it goes in. See, I, I screwed up the lines right here, the stripes. They weren't lined up. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's not digital art anymore, so I can't just undo or erase. So we're going to have to figure out how to fix that. I figured out how to fix it by just making that whole arm in shadow. Yeah, pretty cool. So the um, the way that you ink wash is just take a little dab of the full, you know, full force ink, and add a lot of water to it. So in the tray over there, I've got the um, got the ink wash going on, and you have got to be very patient with it. You just put on a layer; it it dries lighter than it looks. So you do a nice dark layer, and then. This is a very dark layer right here, but you can see that it, as it dries, it lightens up a little bit. That's the cool thing about time lapse is you can kind of actually see that toe lightening up as it uh, as it dries right in front of your eyes. So as I was saying, put it on in nice light coats and then just let them dry and come back and hit them again and again. And that way you can control uh, the value of your shading. So I like to use the ink wash to kind of put down an initial underpainting, I guess of the values of of the shading and even if i'm coming in with another color over the top of it it'll show through that other color unless it's an exceptionally opaque ink that i'm putting on the top of it it'll uh, show through and just kind of give it more of a rich uh, value texture so right now that is some red uh, dr ph martin's india ink that i'm throwing in for the inside of drax cape and of course for his uh, bloody mary that he's enjoying on the beach now this blue that's coming in <clears throat> is uh, again Dr. P. H. Martin's India ink. I think that's their uh, turquoise, maybe is the name of the color, and it just goes on so smoothly and covers well. It is a little brighter green, like a little bit more teal than I initially wanted, but after I got it onto the paper, I thought, wow, no, that's a that's a cool. It might be a, a, a little bit bright for Drax normal wear, but maybe that's his beach going cape. So uh, I'll come in a little bit later and add a little bit uh, darker blue to it, but overall I was happy with that um, with that color. So that's what we went with. And um, coming in with these uh, these yellow highlights for the different bits of metal. And now I've switched over to the Sharpie Creative Series paint markers, which uh, yeah I'm pretty pleased with. In this drawing, I haven't I didn't use too much just for the uh, green on his on his glasses and the um, uh, accentuating, accentuating that uh, parasol. But, um, but you know, play with mixed media. It, it's fun to do. Now, this is the one thing that I regret about the entire drawing 
well, I guess thing A and thing B of the of the same aspect is that I wish I hadn't drawn that hard circle uh, to signify the shadow. I wish I would have just used color instead of that line to do the oval because I had a hard time getting it out of there. And then also I wish I would have just done that oval in the ink wash, like I said before, as kind of an underpainting instead of trying to get a dark brown, which then was more red than I wanted it. So it looks like he's standing in a pool of blood or something, which I guess maybe is on theme. But if I had this to do over, I would um, definitely not even print out that oval. I would have just made it using the uh, values of the you know browns and things like that and the, and the underpainting of the India ink. So now I'm just using uh, straight undiluted uh, India ink, the Dr. P.H. Martins, to come back in and draw in these lines with a very, very thin brush. The, the lines that I made in the digital drawing were our nice guideline, but I want to, you know, just give them a little bit more life by tracing over them. And in some instances, you can see where the ink of the original print kind of bled a little bit because, you know, inkjet is just basically water soluble ink that goes onto the uh, sheath. So when you hit it with some water, a lot of times it'll bleed, but I wasn't too worried about that because I knew I was going to be tracing over the lines anyway. And uh, yeah, just make him more interesting. So we come in and we play with it a little bit. Again, we're giving it another coat of the ink wash. It's, it's a very kind of zen uh, practice as far as I'm concerned of getting this ink wash in there. You just put in a, put in a layer, be patient, let it dry and uh, do that several times. I, I'm sure I have a couple more coats coming uh, for the shadow underneath that uh, parasol for sure. There we go. And there's more, just as I say it. Finally, I'm coming in with some white India ink to try to hit some highlights, but unfortunately, I believe that the layer is still a little too wet, so it's it's blending a little bit more than I wanted to as far as uh, having like kind of specular highlights on it. So we'll let that everything dry a little bit, and we'll come back and hit it again in a second. So now I've got a pen out, and uh, it's just a, a Sharpie gel pen is what it is, just a regular writing pen. And I'm hitting it with some uh, cross-hatching just to accentuate the shadows and to kind of give some volume to the shapes of his legs and the dark areas under the parasol and under the cape and a little bit of the cast shadow on the uh, ground beneath him. I didn't like that aqua or uh, turquoise on the handle of the parasol, so I added some red just to give it a little, a little contrast. And here we are again doing even more ink wash now that the other layer has dried underneath the parasol. Now that everything's had a little chance to dry a bit, I'm coming back with the uh, white India ink and hitting some, some highlights there. So trying to fix my mistake here on the bottom by bringing in a dark brown to cover up the uh, reddish tint of that <laughs> of that initial shadow, and finally I just gave up on it. So we're uh, we're going to come in with some blue, like I said, we're coming in with a little darker blue, and killing the brightness on that turquoise cape, and then adding a little bit of depth to the shadow beneath the cape. So here we have the final piece of Drax Day on the Beach. Uh, it was inspired by a summer ween. And if you like this guy, well, you know, he's available on my website at drinkthepaintwater.com. Uh, just hit the little shop tab up there and he's there ready to purchase an 8x10 print. Thanks, friend.